Well, Scott, salmon, as you know, is one of the more popular fish there is out there that everyone is always trying to find different recipes for. So right now, I had happened to be grocery shopping and, and getting inspired, but I always go back to my favorites, and it's always simple. So I'm gonna start with, um, this is gonna be almost like a tomato salad on top of the salmon, but you're really gonna get a lot of the flavor from the fish, and this is gonna complement it with lots of, uh, lots of color. So I'm gonna start with some extra virgin olive oil. A lot of people don't think olive oil is is an ingredient, but it is. It's the foundation for every good recipe. Um, I have a little bit of kosher salt, so I put in a little fresh ground pepper. I have some Italian flat leaf parsley, and then I have some nice shallots, minced shallots, and then I have some minced garlic, fresh garlic, not that stuff you buy in a jar with vinegar. This is fresh jalapeno. Of course, if you want more heat, leave more seeds in. So I also have some crushed, uh, crushed red pepper flake. I like a little bit of that in there as well, just to kind of ele elevate the heat a little bit. So once that is all incorporated, I have a lemon, and I always try to find the juiciest lemon on the market. And then I'm gonna say probably, oh, the juice of half a lemon. You could also use a, a vinegar if you like, but I like the freshness of the lemon. These are mini heirloom tomatoes. Um, they have lots of flavor, lots of color, so they'll really pop on the plate. And then I have some fresh basil leaves. Give these a nice chiffonade, and by rolling them up, and then slicing them so. Just want a nice fresh cut chiffonade on the basil. So I have all of the fresh ingredients in here, lots of flavor, not a lot of ingredients, but enough that everything will meld together very well. I'm gonna give it all a stir. Now you could let this rest or marinate for several hours in the refrigerator, or you can do this very quickly and just let it set on the side while you cook the salmon. So I have some fresh salmon with skin on. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Fresh salmon doesn't need much, much more than just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and put, again, an extra virgin olive oil in here. You wanna hear that sizzle? That way you know you're not steaming the fish. So this should take about, judging by this thickness, about six minutes total. You'll start to see the white fat just starting to seep out of the edges of the salmon, and that is what I look for. I'm going to flip that. There you can see that the fish is taking on some caramelization. Caramelization is where you get a lot of flavor. That's a beautiful piece, that's perfect. So the salmon is finished cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and start plating this. And this recipe would work with halibut. It'd work with trout. And then we have the marinated tomato salad right here. The flavors should have all come together really nicely. Like I said, you can spice up as much heat as you like on this. Just give it a dressing. So there we are, Scott. We have salmon with a fresh heirloom tomato salad on top.